why do we do what we do on the farm? Why do we invest uh, significant time and allocate a lot of money to put in sediment traps and tailwater ponds? It really is to create a balance, uh, a balance that we need to get back to. This area that we just walked through is about two acres of very, very prime agricultural land. And it costs me about $25,000 just in the engineering to create the, the ponds that we visited. Now, one caveat there is that we were uh, very fortunate to receive uh, NRCS funding through, through the EQUIP funds to uh, assist us with that. So these laws are coming down the pike. Um, and as a farmer, I have to adhere to them. So if I can be proactive in doing things that um, plan for the future, I feel it helps me, I feel it helps my fellow farmers, I feel, feel it helps California do everything we can do to, to conserve this incredible land that we have. I don't think that uh, we as a, as, as a society of farmers um, who are frequently so strapped when it comes to the bottom line can do it on our own. And yet, the citizens of this, the, this great country need us. We are all aware that California is facing perhaps the worst drought in California history today for a variety of reasons, many of which are our, our reasons. We haven't really lived up over the last four decades to what we need to do in terms of storage and conveyance, and we can talk about that all day long. But conservation has to be a critical part of what we're doing on the farm and what we're doing as citizens of California. DRIP is the way to do it. Natural Resource Conservation Service, a part of the USDA, the United States Department of Food and Agriculture. It's our taxpayer money, and it's the best use that we can possibly expect. As a taxpayer, I'm, it's the best thing I think my taxes can go towards. It's a long-term conservation of our food supply. When you go from furrow to sprinkler, you're reducing your water in half. When you go from sprinkler to drip, you're reducing it again in a half. So from furrow to drip, you've really made a significant water saving. And we're very fortunate to partner with uh, NRCS in EQUIP funding. And um, that provided 50% of our overall cost to, to install our, our irrigation system. So we have to learn how to work together and share this incredible resource that we absolutely depend upon. This is Northern California. This is what makes us, from an agricultural standpoint, so rich um, in terms of natural resources. We can't squander this. We have to share it. We have to learn how to use it. Um, so from a very difficult setting 15 or 18 years ago, I think today we have a win-win. We have meetings monthly to talk about these stream flows and how to best use this between riparian users. Not easy, not fun, gotta do it uh, for the long-term benefit of this, of this watershed.